Hello children, welcome back. Let us learn NCERT's Mathematic Book 3, Textbook in Mathematics for Class 3. Let us learn about the Chapter 1, Where to Look From. NCERT content is made by qualified professionals and I would like to use the same examples and add more where possible for better understanding to the students. So here you see two pictures. The above one is looking like one rectangle in another rectangle and a bunch of green leaves and this is one picture and another picture is here that's looking like a car and you see the wheels and the windows and the tree you see the stem also right of this tree you see the car standing on the road so what's the difference between these two when you look from the top say you are in fifth floor of your flat and you look down at your car what do you see it's a rectangle box kind of with rounded corners or whatever and you will see the rooftop, square or rectangle window. If any carriage is there on the top, you will see that. Right? But when you go down and look at your car, you will see the car. When you see from the side, you will see it like this. And when you see from the front, what do you see? You will see the headlights and the dashboard. And when you see from the back, you will see the rear lights and the back boot, right? This, this is a table, right? When you look from the side, you will see all the four legs. Maybe, may not be. That depends on the angle at which you see the object. But when you look from the top, what you will see? You will not see the legs, but you will see the top, table top, and whatever the design it may have, right? But from the side, you don't see the design, but you will see the length of the legs, what is the height of the table, and how many legs it has, and what is the width of, width of this table top, right? So some pictures are given here. So this is a pressure cooker. When you see from the side, you will see a small rectangle and half circle and the whistle, a small uh, rectangle, right? And the handle here. But if you look from the top, what do you see? It's a circle, small circle inside that represents this whistle, right? Here is a chapel. When you are seeing from this side, what do you see? You will see the length of this chapel and this what of the flaps it may have, right? Some gap through them. But when you see from the top, what do you see? You will say V kind of that flaps and oval shape of the shoe, chapel, right? And uh, this is a star fruit, okay? So when you are seeing from the side, you are seeing a like uh, earth, globe-like uh, object, appearance, right? But when you see from the top, what do you see? You will see star and nothing else, right? And when it comes to this table, this is something like a drawer and it has two doors and uh, two shelves may be inside this is the front view you're looking from front right you can see the doors and you see small legs also of this table top table right but when you see from the top what do you see do you see these doors no do you see these door knobs no do you see these legs no what do you see it's a top surface plain surface you will see it may be a finished one it may be having some table cloth table top and it may be having some design or whatever anything all those things you will see from the top right and uh, 
it's a practice time you see this is a classroom and it's a beautiful exam I appreciate uh, the authors of this textbook and this is a class going on right a cat is peeping into the classroom and can you help her find out where the teacher is can you guess children see these are all children right and uh, all are we are seeing because the cat is on the top and it's looking at the children and one person here so he is in front of the table one in front of the table and all these students are behind the table so definitely by looking at the picture you will know who is the teacher and who are the students do you agree that the person standing here is the teacher facing the students right you may have seen the stairs staircase this is a staircase you will see the steps right going up or going down right you are looking from the front of the staircase see on the left side you see the triangle and all this zigzag and you have a railing to hold this is also staircase but you are not looking from the front but you are looking from side right okay this is the view from the side so everything depends and relative to the view from which angle you are looking at that object right and so this is a table right what is the view from where from you are seeing this table you can guess it is from the top you are right and you see this chair where from you are seeing this if it is from the front you will see the back the resting back of the chair that you are not seeing and you are seeing the cushion here you see and the legs two legs here okay definitely there will be two legs behind them and this is the armrest so this chair you are looking from side right you can guess how it looks like when you see from the front yeah sure definitely you will right and uh, see this is a pencil have you ever thought it would look like this may not be right this is how many sides it has one two three four five it has got five sides five sided object is called pentagon shaped right most of the pencils you will see they are all pentagon or hexagon or octagon shapes they come in and this is the that pencil actual pencil inside when you do when you sharpen it you will see the pencil tip here right can you see the tip can you see the tip from the top this this view is from the top right can you see the tip no but when you are seeing from the side then you will see the tip right when you see from the side the pencil will look like this right this is the tip and this is the pencil and when you see from the top what do you see a pentagon and you will have some small circle for the tip inside right that is what you have seen there you can play with your friends like you have a water bottle ask your friends how it looks like when you see from uh, side or when you see from the top like that right and if you have a cup okay tell them how it looks like when you see from the front or when you see from the top right sides and from the bottom so that you yourself will know the shape of it and the view matters to visualize the object oh one thing here this is the bus so where from you are seeing you are seeing from the side so that's why you can see 
the two wheels and the windows and this is a driver seat and you can know what's the length of this bus as well right but if you see from the top it will look like a rectangle like this right will you see the tires when you look from the top when some when some bus is there near your flat and you're watching from the top floor then what do you see you it looks like a rectangle object right and uh, you won't see the tires or the windows when you see from the front what do you see you will see the glass dashboard glass and the headlights and the driver face right you may see this wheel and there is another wheel behind so those two wheels you may see half of them you may see half of them that is bottom half right try it with as many objects as possible that are around you okay now here are some pictures of rangoli these girl is drawing right rangoli is nothing but a pattern that right? can you draw these patterns so very interesting so you try this these are four dots and this is joined like this it's very interesting so let us try drawing some objects uh, some patterns so i not put the dots so that's why this is not come regular i'll put the dots one dot here one dot here okay now how i will join them like this like this when you have the dots they give us the direction and this has come neatly better than the previous one always when drawing the shapes use scale with that you can draw the straight lines and you can use uh if you have a compass box you can draw the circles you can draw perfect shapes right so these are the other shapes give it a try you have this textbook with you and many other patterns all the rangolis are really lovely patterns when it is a pongal sankranti you will find these patterns rangoli drawn in front of every house right that enhance the beauty of that house so these are some patterns very interesting you have the dots here you put the dots or use this uh, page on your book itself and joining the dots you can create beautiful designs so so this is uh, one rangoli and this is another beautiful pattern snake pattern and this is another pattern this is a v sine wave pattern and this looks like rose or petals of a rose so definitely use these dots to create patterns use your creativity so you make your own designs in fact when you use the dots you will get the perfect shapes always when you are making a drawing now you are grown up kids right so whatever you do that should be perfect so add perfection to whatever you do add perfection to whatever you do so this is assignment home assignment for you you draw you try to draw a kite boat leaf star a flower a pot you can visualize how a kite look like it's like a diamond shape with a tail right you can use the dots to draw a kite and a boat leaf i'll show you how to make a kite let us increase this canvas to a bit bigger like this you make the dots use a scale and use measurement like centimeters or inches that helps you in drawing perfect pictures okay some dots i have drawn i'll show you how to draw a kite let us take another color 
to draw a kite the purple so I will join this dot this dot so does it look like kite yeah at least to me maybe you also will recognize like this you use the dots to create the other objects given in the example or anything you like right one girl is asking a painter to draw a picture and he says i'll charge 200 rupees for that so the deal is done and after that the artist the painter has drawn only half of her picture okay and uh, the girl is disappointed asking the painter why it's uh, only half of me then uh, you use a mirror put it uh, near the mirror and you will see the other half it you will keep this near the mirror you will see the other half so the other half is exactly equal or similar to this half so that is full then the girl has given 100 rupees so why 100 rupees so put it the girl is the girl is wise and told uh, the painter use a mirror and it will be double so that will be the charge you originally we originally agreed so that's it it for tat it for tat right here are some pictures the other half this looks like a butterfly with two wings can you complete this so the body you exactly like this you make the other half to make it a complete butterfly what does this look like this look like a diya right and uh, you can complete the other half and this is a half cat half star and half fish try these projects homework so here it says that uh, try the painter trick to draw half of these objects do you know what is this this is caterpillar this is a cup a mug you can call and this is our national flag and uh, any object some regular objects regular means like this is a bottle this is a regular object and this is a cup this is a regular object can you make mirror halves mirror halves means if i cut like this will it be mirror half no so for the mirror half you have to cut like this half of this handle also so that becomes a mirror half some uh, irregular object this is a book so this you can try cutting mirror half okay but there may be some irregular objects so those like a pumpkin or like a uh, apple apple is a regular object like some aloo potato so most of them are not regular regular in shape so those you cannot make a mirror halves but here you see this is a triangle and if i cut across this it is exactly the this the above part is exactly same as that of the bottom part bottom half so this is a mirror half and this is a rectangle this is a triangle and cutting like this will make the mirror halves the left and right both look alike and uh, does this make a mirror half no you see this one this line is it making uh, cutting this square into mirror half yes it is you see the length from the right and length from the left this is equal so these two are equal halves they are like a mirror halves so this uh, inverted uh, uh, triangle and uh, this one you see this is a tree this dotted line you see is it making this tree mirror half no 
if you use a vertical line like this it will make the mirror half right not the earlier one so the half of uh, this branch this will be left this will be right and this triangle will be cut into half and this b alphabet b this line is it making mirror half of this letter yes it is you see exactly half this t also this line vertical line is making the t mirror halves so no this vertical this is not making mirror half but if you draw a line like this vertical then it will make mirror half and here also the horizontal line is not making mirror half use a vertical line this is a heart so drawing a line at the center makes these two halves equal mirror halves m yes the center line is making mirror half for this and this triangle yes this is making mirror half and this is looking like some racket yes this line is making mirror half coming to this object what is this object this is a kite so this is not making mirror half you see the small square and big square so what can make a mirror half a vertical line through this right and this one diagonally drawn line yes this makes these two pieces as mirror halves right you try whatever the object you have you have an apple ask your parents to cut it into two mirror halves or uh, anything banana you try you don't you don't use the knives also to cut it take the help of elders to cut them those objects like a potato onion as mirror halves and see how they look like right and you may have a comb some this is envelope eight scissors and some object here this is a teapot pencil cup crown this is a top bell floppy and this is aeroplane spanner this is a tool for repairs this is number two this is specs this is a briefcase iron box umbrella and a clock and a clock use dotted lines to make these objects as exact two halves right so you are given some this is a ant here help it to identify what letter this is this is folded right at the center this is a mirror half so can you guess what the letter is it is it is, it looks like a as an apple so this is half of it so the below one is looking like h h as in hat so this one this looks like a u right and the above one is a c this is a b right this is bottom half of the b and uh, the other half is on the other side so this is this letter looks like k right k as in king can you guess the words by looking at their halves this looks like h this is half of o h o and this is a w w as in white so this is h o w right and let us try this what is this this is half of w so w and this is a and this is x so wax w a x is wax and now let us see this this is 
you can guess the half of it bottom half of these uh, letters and this is uh, looks like C this is O O K E D cooked right C O O K E D cooked right let us see this this is D this is I this is C this is alphabet A D I C E what it is it is dice you play with the dice that's interesting you try it so here is a project to make a mask right take a paper you fold the paper like this now draw half of the cat like this on this folded paper now take a scissors do you don't cut it okay take the help of your parents or elders to cut this on this folded paper you cut across this line to take this shape out so throw the remaining paper out so when you open that what it will be it's a cat now use some elastic to tie like this and color the cat the whiskers the mouth the eyes and that's a beautiful mask you made it it's ready so you can try making masks this is like a girl right it's like this this hands half you make it and if you spread it it will be on a piece of paper fold it and you draw hands one hand you draw and cut it with the scissors along the borders when you open it you will see two hands right and this is a girl and this is an elephant and this is this is a cat again some cat or some animal mask right try this it's interesting you we learnt a lot of shapes and about masks we learnt a lot in this class and we'll be learning more in the next lesson if you have any queries please do reach out to me i will help you right bye for now